Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review and Happy New Year, everyone. I don't know when the cut-off point is when you can't say that anymore, but I think we're all right, aren't we? It's only a few days after New Year. I hope you had a good one. I was working and playing. I kind of had a had a kind of family. I do a gig at Alton Towers every year, and they let me take my family and give me a room, which is really, really nice. So I'm kind of done by 9 o'clock, so it's, it's lovely. Um, so whatever you were doing, whether you were working, whether you were playing, whether you were family, friends, doing your own thing, I hope you had a great one. Uh, I'm just sort of reflecting on the last year, really. First of all, thanks very much. I've said this so many times for the support. I will continue to say it. One of the things I've learned I wanted to share with you, one of my new kind of approaches towards this, which is kind of a bit paradoxical because I am sit here and I kind of I give advice and it's something that I feel I'm very careful about because I'm only ever talking from my own experience and my own experience is very different to a lot of people's. But I found myself wanting and trying and, and I think succeeding in becoming a more humble magician and becoming a student again in magic. Now, for someone that runs a, a car magic course, carmagiccourse.com, etc., and teaches magic, it's easy and, and have performed for so, so many years, it's easy to fall into that trap of thinking you know enough and thinking you... You've got everything you need. You don't have to learn any more stuff. That's fine. What I found that when I did that was that I got bored. I lost this love, this spark, and and the need to even share or teach or anything like that. And this year, I've really gone back to, and a little thought, I suppose, the end of last year, really gone back to trying to be almost the childlike student with this sort of exploratory kind of nature of kind of, okay, there's so much to learn, and I'm never going to learn it all, but let's just keep learning. And always, you know, seek inspiration from others even though they might have only been doing it for a year or six months and and getting getting rid of this rid of this kind of egotistical side of me which I think of magicians it's very very easy to let overtake things you know so so you know we we do a skill which people do think is amazing even though some of us are convinced some people think it's cheesy and stuff they don't most people really love it um it's very easy you know we're constantly told that what we're doing is great and all that and it's 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 kind of, I found myself a long time ago going, you know, this is, I've nailed it, you know. And this last year or two, with the reading I've had to do for the review that I've kind of wanted to do for the reviews and the magic I've learned, I realised there is, it's a never-ending quest, it's a never-ending journey. So I suppose the reason I'm saying this is because I look back at what switch, switched me off from magic originally when I was into it and I got so fed up was this kind of constant fighting of I know more than you, I'm better than you, this is the advice, this is what you should do. And I have talked about this before. And rather than actually withdraw from it, what I've realised is that we can actually not be, we don't have to play that game. We can, we can be magicians that do something amazing, but share and give and provide and create a community. And we are seeing more of this now. We're seeing lots of these like young magicians schemes coming out which it, where it's more about helping people and giving and this is it's so healthy and I think also we've seen it you know I've noticed in the, the in the industry again another thing that switched me off with this constant almost this greed you know people know that they can create an effect put it out and they'll probably do all right with it if they get the right backing so that you just get this kind of greed and this hunger where it becomes less about the effect and the magic and more about just another thing to make money. And we, obviously we still see that, but I'm seeing a, sw a turnaround where there's a, there are a lot more values-driven organisations. There are a lot more, and we see this in the business world as well, you know, we're, we're understanding that, that that greed model isn't sustainable. And it's not sustainable as in a magician either. I don't think you can know the free tricks and just get all the gigs without having a passion to drive you. And if you, if you haven't got that passion or those values, then I think that, it, it ultimately it ends in misery, which, it, which is where I found myself a while ago. So I suppose the, the takeaway from this, and my big learning from the last year and a half, especially the last year, is if you find yourself getting carried away with the ego side of it, just try and re, reset and, and see yourself as as a student again. Remember what it was like when you started learning. When you started learning it just because you loved it, not because you there's another thing you could slay an audience with you know understand that we that there's the the depth and joy of this i think comes from the the exploration and and the the and the community if it's done in if it's if it's a, it's done with integrity um and that's my thing really. that's my really big joy i've got this spark now i've got this lovely thing that that has come from actually taking a step down and going okay what can i learn rather than what can i tell or show off or give or you know um 
and of course giving is is part of that and i you know i'd lie i would be lying if i if i said that there wasn't a a part of my ego that was fulfilled by doing these videos but hopefully um there, you can see there's more to it so there you go there's my little little new year's message um be a student always be a beginner always explore and I think that will help you keep the love for this lovely thing that we do, this craft, this art, whatever you want to call it, uh, which is magic, which just is so wide and um, which is what's so great about it, isn't it? So I'll see you at a convention. Come and say hello. I'll be at the session. I'll be at Blackpool and we'll see where else I'll be. And thank you so, so much. And if you want to check out cardmagicals.com and support the channel, that'd be great. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Take care. Bye.